Hey guys, it's Simran here with another Mastery Badge uh, replay. I am currently platooned with Pink from Relic Ox. He is in his E100, and I am in my Object 140. I'm not really sure what's going on with this JPE. Um, I guess I'm just having a little bit of bad luck right now. Again, RNG doesn't seem to be with me right now, which is uh, much too bad. I try to poke out and spot the JPE again, but I realize pretty quickly that he is currently out of my view range. So I want to come over here and check to make sure that the mouse is the only tank that's going to be coming up. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. This uh, battle does take uh, quite a little bit of time. And so like I mentioned in my T-62A Master Badge battle, um, I do tend to take a lot more snapshots these days with the Russian meds. It really doesn't improve their accuracy all too much. So I'm trying to be careful poking around this corner. I really want to make sure that the mouse is the only tank which has come this direction. And with the 1390 currently watching the DE's lines, I feel pretty sure here in a couple seconds that the mouse is indeed isolated. Go ahead and speed up again. Now I'm a little hesitant right now and unfortunately that could inevitably cost us a little bit. And the mouse is just stupid thick armor. They can finally get the kill there. And so right now we're feeling pretty good about our team. Um, we have a lot of TDs down there on the south and typically anyone trying to push on them is just going to have to have a bad time. So like I mentioned, snapshot all day with this tank. Enemy armor is hit. Very lucky tracking shot there. And it's too bad he had to repair back. Fortunately, they're not spotting me yet. And so here I'm just trying to take as many stealth shots as I possibly can. Really want to uh, preserve my health. And so right now I see that the 890 lines are really, really suffering. They used to have a lot of TDs over there, and not so much anymore. And so what I wish our 704 was doing was being a little bit more passive where he is. He instead, he's pushed up so far that it is impossible for me to support him like you want me to. Somehow managed to shoot his gun. Which unfortunately did cost our 704 his life. So now it's going to be my job to come over here and watch the 890. I'm going to be completely alone against probably three, possibly four tanks. Enemy armor is destroyed. And somehow I managed to not get spotted. His commander may have been dead.
insert here, I'm just trying to stay as hold on as possible to make myself a harder target. And so I'm going to pull back a little bit so I have a little bit more support. I feel a little bit more secure being a little bit closer to my allies and I'll probably have a good shot at uh, getting some shots on this waffle. So I'm still worried about that Wizzy coming up and um, the 180, or not the Wizzy, but the Tiger 2. Now, unfortunately, Pink at this time, he's a little bit trapped over on the one line. That's one of the downsides of pushing over there, is if you're in a large heavy, you're pretty much spotted from everywhere. And the JPE and the 183 pretty much both have shots on them. So now, pretty sure that the tiger is somewhere nearby, and there already has pretty much just blown his load all over me, not doing hardly any damage to me at all. So I'm pretty sure I could outplay this tiger too by myself, but again, I need to try and conserve my hit points, and just charging out there could be a bad thing. I don't know if the JP is relocated. I don't know uh, necessarily what's going on. So I'm poking up here, changing my location to try and uh, just maximize the areas that I'm paying attention to. And I'm patrolling this back area too because I don't want the Tiger 2 to necessarily get a drop on us and start uh, getting cat pressure. So I paused there for a second, uh, trying to give the 1390 some commands, and unfortunately he was already committed to trying going to the mid. I wish he would have come up here with me so that we get a little bit uh, different angle. Instead, he, and instead he's trying to get as close as he can to scout. He instead should be trying to get as far as way. I'm firing through a lot of bushes here that the Tiger 2 just has no chance of ever spotting me through. I should have waited a second to secure that kill, but... No idea where that shot went. Now, I've done a good job conserving my health thus far, but the 183 can take it completely away in a heartbeat. Now, unfortunately, uh, Pink has gotten himself in an even worse, worse position. And so right now I'm communicating with Pink to see how we can try and outflank this 183. Pretty sure the JP hasn't moved. I so wish that would have ammo racked him, but...
And so I waited until the bat which had already dropped off the radar so that I could move without the 183 knowing which direction that I was going to take. So now I got the 183 down to a one shot. And so pretty much the same thing here. I want to wait until he disappears before I commit to one side. And so I initially think about going to the same spot, which I do. And nothing. Unfortunately, Pink drowned there. Um, he got himself into an untenable position, and he just fucked. And so now, I am hoping that the JPE is more or less in the same spot, so that I can get underneath him and really control him. Pink there was pretty pissed that he drowned. So I really wasn't paying attention to the clock right now, but we only have two minutes left at this point. Unfortunately, I could snapshot all day, but that one missed. And so what I'm thinking here now is I'm going to go and cap. And I didn't realize how little time I had left. But I have a lot of health remaining. I have 1521, so I could take a hit from this JPE if I need to. And so at this point, I was thinking I could cap JPE, no way in hell could ever get back to me, and I could secure the win. Unfortunately, I get to cap and realize, oh crap, one minute left. Well, hopefully the JPE is coming back at me, and I can farm some more damage and get my Top Gun. So Artie's trying to just blows a little over me. We didn't even scratch them. I really should not be auto aiming here. Gotcha. I have absolutely no business auto aiming. Um, shouldn't have, and I would have killed him a little bit sooner. But I was able to secure the top gun and nearly 7,000 damage. And unfortunately, it now ends in a draw. As you can see, was finally my Master Badge, my Object 140. It took 354 games. I secured the High Caliber and Top Gun. Finished with 6,928 damage for a base experience of uh, 1,303. And again, I didn't fire any heat, but maybe one or two. And I finished with a profit of 37,000. That was my Master Badge 140. I hope you enjoyed.